Okay, this is a tutorial on how to move your desktop folder under Windows XP and for that let's go to the start menu and go to run and type reg edit reg edit like that and click OK and I don't have any icons on my desktop only this uh, recycle bin icon down here and after moving the desktop to another partition a uh, few icons will appear here on the left side and for that let's go in this reg edit program to this uh, address h key current user so that's H key current user double click on it to open it then software okay Microsoft search for Microsoft here okay then Windows let's see where it is there current version current version Explorer here it is okay and user shell folders user shell folders okay and here on the right side in user shell folders we have desktop and it's set to the us current user profile and a desktop subfolder I'm going to double click desktop and enter a new path I want to store my desktop folder on the E drive so I'm going to delete everything till this and it will be E column slash and desktop and then click the OK button so the path was modified okay and we can close this window now and no icons appear on the screen yet and for that let's go to the taskbar and the task manager okay and search for explorer there it is explorer exe and click end task down here uh, down here in the window so we are killing the explorer task and task warning terminating the process blah 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 click yes okay now the whole taskbar and start menu and clock everything disappeared so we have to enable the explorer again go to file and new task and type explorer here and after pressing enter notice how everything reappears and icons on the left so that means the desktop was moved to the new location which is the e-drive okay that's it thank you bye bye